Hi, can I make a hair appointment for tomorrow? Uh, probably tomorrow afternoon if that's okay. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, Henry. Shannon. Yep. Uh, yeah, 6 p.m. should be fine. Yep. Alright, thank you. Henry. Hey, it's me, Sarah. Yeah. Uh, are you headed home? Uh, yeah, I'll be home in about two minutes. Okay, I'll be there in like ten. I think we have to talk. Oh, what about? Katie. Yeah. We just hang on, because my phone is doing weird shit and it looks really weird. Oh, I'm sorry, I think I hit a, um, a dead spot. Yeah, it's okay. You said about Katie? Yeah. Why, what's she done now? Well, I found some interesting stuff. I don't know if it may be important to you, but I'll show you when I get home. Alright, I'm heading home now. I don't think she's home though, I think she's, she's out. Okay, that might be a good thing. Alright, I'll see you at home. Alright, bye. Bye. Hmm, interesting. Home sweet home. I think we'll put the car in the garage. And we'll close the roller door. If it'll let me. There we go. Henry. Hey Shannon, it's Scott. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad yourself. You got some time to talk today about Katie? About Katie? Yeah, I came across some stuff while patrolling the other day that might explain some of what she's been going through. Yeah, sure. Come around now. Sarah's already coming around as well. Apparently she's got something to say about Katie as well. Alright. Uh, see you at your place then. Alright, see ya. Ah, oh, what has this kid done? Oh, you're home, Sarah. Yes. Did you just finish work? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I just need water. Hmm. Um. Scott just rang as well. Apparently he's got something he needs to talk to us about Katie as well. Oh. Hmm. Where is he? Is he here yet? Uh, he's on his way. Am I going to need wine to go with this? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, what I found, I don't know if it's important to you, but, uh, definitely interesting okay I'm pouring myself a glass of wine yeah do you want some as well yeah we've only got one bottle left we're gonna have to go down to the shop later oh my god yeah All right, here you go. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know how far away he is.
Are you going to be home for dinner? Mm. Yeah. Um, you want to just get some, we'll just order some food or something. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just get takeout, it's fine. I really can't be bothered cooking, I don't know about you. Me neither. Yeah, no. I think so? I heard footsteps. Doors open. Hey Scott. Hey Shannon. Do you want some wine? No, I think I'm good. What about a beer? Sure, it's really good. No, I'll pass. Okay. Um, we're just gonna sit outside of the table, I think. Yeah, let's take this outside. Hmm. Um, so Sarah, what do you want to talk about? So, uh, let me see, I took a picture over my phone. So, uh, the other day I was just in my room, you know, making myself look pretty. Um, and then I hear like a loud thumb. And I knew Katie was home. Kind of ignored it. And then I heard it again. And I go into her room. And she's covering up what seemed to be a tattoo and mark on her neck. I'm not sure what that's from. Well, she's always had that sure mark on her that. neck from when she was younger. Or is it a and different she was mark? covering up with... I don't know, but she was covering up with permanent marker. And I've never seen that tattoo before. Right, okay. And then I found what she threw at the wall, that loud thumb. And it was her sketchbook, and it was... It's like a photo, and there's a female in the photo that has like a large X across her. And there's sketches in here that are kind of creepy, and they, apparently they date back two years ago and look to be... about something that happened, I'm not sure. Could be something you know to do with her mum and dad. Yeah. Do you know what her mother looks like? Mm. Uh, no, I don't think I do. Because mm. I'm willing to bet big money that this is probably her. Because when I asked her about it, she's like, no one I want to talk about. You know, in her dark voice. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I have to talk to her when she gets back. Yeah. What about you, Scott? Well, I guess... I don't know. I might have some leads on who the parent is. Who, Katie's parent? Yeah, and Juliana. They might be sisters. I've always had a little feeling that they looked very, very similar and there might have been something there, but I, was, I wasn't sure. Uh, possibly even twins? Oh. Yeah, no, a couple days ago, we got dispatched up to the prison because the guards just couldn't handle one inmate. I don't know what that was all about. But they showed us a picture that was in this inmate's cell, and it was like a family photo, and there was two younger girls, and they looked an awful lot like Juliana and Katie. And it looked like a family portrait. Right, who was, who was the lady at the prison? Um, a one Sandrina King. Have you ever seen her? Have we got a file? Have we got a... Is it... uh, we looked her up. She's got a pretty nasty record. But when I talked to Juliana about Sandrina, apparently that's... Juliana confirmed that's Juliana's mother and that she attacked Katie 
at some point before, and that's the reason she's in prison. Right, did you bring a file of what she looks like or anything? Because I have a picture. Uh, yeah, I got some information in uh, plot car. All right, do you want to grab it and I'll have a look? I might have seen it before, I don't know, though. The name doesn't ring a bell. Well, if that picture yeah, no. matches the one I have here... That might be something. Yeah, but... And then the, the father... Um, apparently his name is Thomas King. Looked up his record, too. He's got some... Drunken altercations and some other things. Right. So it, something about a Tinder date gone bad. It's looking like both parents are crims. Yes. And Juliana, I know, is deathly afraid that her mother's gonna break out of prison and come kill her because she snitched on her mother about trying to go after Katie, and that's why Sandrina's in jail. So it's a whole lovely, you know, family business thing going on here. Right. Has has DCS been informed of this? No, I just found out like last night when I talked to Juliana. Right. Okay. Let's maybe let's not go to DCS until we have some concrete stuff. Yeah. Because if they are sisters, they have no idea. Both parents are definitely in jail, though, right? Yeah, currently. Um, I know Sandrina was definitely in jail because she tried to escape again. So they put her in solitary. Last I checked the record for Thomas, he was also in jail. Right, okay. I'll I put a... It had something to do with it. Thomas. Motel, oh, maybe? Thomas King from the Motel. Your name was on the report. Yeah, Tinder date gone wrong. He he went on a date and the lady ended up being 70-something. Oh. And he wasn't happy about Tell it and he took her hostage. This. Yeah, well, apparently that's Juliana and Katie's dad. He didn't seem... I mean, I know he's a criminal, though, and he had a criminal record, but he, um... He, I... I mean, he did try and stab a police officer, but through a door, but he seemed like he was more trying to be better, but he was just getting hit with hard things in life, if you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, his name sounded familiar, and I think I'd had a couple run-ins with him, and one of them was after he had gotten fairly drunk at Tequila Laws, and it sounded like he was talking about screwing up his kids somehow but they're no longer in his life kind of deal hmm like he had some regrets about not being their first kids or something before they were taken away by the state right okay he seems to from what you're saying and from what I've met of Mr. King he seemed to be the like by the sounds it seems to be the more stable one out of the two parents yeah. The mother is definitely on something, and it sounded like she kept hinting that she had unfinished business outside of prison when we were there. And I'm guessing that's the two daughters being alive still. I, I can't believe it. A mother trying to kill her kids. A lot of people in this world. Mm. That's a lot to... Digest. Drink some glass. Well, I have a computer inside the police one if we want to look at, um, uh, what was her name? King, um, Sandrina? Yeah, we can have a look at her.
I just got my work tablet. You said Sandrina King? Yeah, I think if you search the last name King, you get both Thomas and Sandrina. Oh yeah, I got her up here. Um, Is that her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I got that picture. Took a picture of it for evidence on the prison phone. That's her. That's the lady in the picture of the sketchbook with the big cross on it. Okay. Everything that I'm seeing so far seems to be pointing towards that they're sisters. Twins. Yeah. They look identical, they're the same age. They're in the I'm same the photos. It's not the same listed in the system. Which is weird. Maybe no one ever ran a Somebody DNA lied test? about something. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, we'll have to talk to Katie when she gets home. You said you've spoken to Juliana? Yeah, she's been staying with me. Well, that didn't work. Oh, let's cross arms. This took a turn. Yeah, um, I don't know, all we can do is keep figuring out the rest of it and try and, if they are indeed twins, try and transition and help them as much as we can, I guess. Yeah, this will be a lot for them to take in, though. These kids have already... They're already pretty fragile. They've already been through enough. I just hope those parents don't try to come take them or something. I'm hesitant on telling them anything until we know what's going on. I mean, Katie's already tried yeah. to tie a rope to herself and chuck herself off the pier. Juliana's in the same boat. She's tried to end it a couple times too. I think once we find out what's exactly going on, the three of us should sit down with maybe the both of them. Yeah. Or, or the three of us sit down and tell one at a time sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. From what I saw on the tablet as well, they're both in jail for felonies as well, so the likelihood of them getting the kids back at all is non non existent pretty much. That's true. Well, from, the, but... from the sounds of it, the mother doesn't want the kids back. Well, even even That's if they did want the kids back, they're in jail. By the time they get out they will be, probably be over the yeah. age of eighteen anyway, and they won't have to go back with them. That's true. Yeah, because they're not that far away from 18, and I doubt either of them are getting out in the next two years. No. Good. I'll put an alert out to the prison if they do escape, or if they do get some sort of early parole, or some sort of good behavior bond, or they get to go out and do that work shit, um, that they notify us, and if need be, one of them gets away for whatever reason, then we can put a protective detail on them. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's like we've said, those kids have been through enough and they don't need this. Well, I'm 
Probably gonna sit down and process everything. Yeah, I need a nap. Yeah. I, I'm thinking about another glass of wine, but I shouldn't have one. Um, thanks for coming by, Scott. I appreciate you letting us know. Yeah. Problem. Talk to y'all later then. Hopefully this ends up okay in the end. Yes, hopefully it all works out for the better. See ya, Scott. See ya, Shannon. Oh, Sarah. That's just a lot of information. That's... that's crazy. Oh. Poor kids. Yeah. I, I don't even know what to say to Katie right now. I, I don't I don't even know what to think. We definitely need to look at whatever mark you said she was trying to hide though. I, I wanna make sure she's okay. She should be home much soon, hopefully. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit. Okay, well, I'm gonna go take a nap. I've been doing paperwork and surgery all day. Okay. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Mm hmm.